Hello everyone, welcome to Simivision. I'm Eric, a Simivision pilot, and today we'll be talking about SPAD.next. SPAD.next is a driver application that uh, like changes the driver of your existing simulator hardware to its own to modify and make it programmable to any other um, input from the simulator. Like for example, our flight um, radio stack here, uh, before we used SPAD.next it was just a regular radio stack, but now we programmed it in such a way that the top it was showing the radio stack and the bottom is showing all of your autopilot systems. So for example, like over here it's showing your heading, here it's showing your altitude and then you have your vertical speed and um, so on and so forth. All of your autopilot stuff you have set up there. So you can do even more than that to any uh, compatible device and the compatibility list is very long. Honeycomb, Logitech, all of them can work. So let's get into it. We'll learn how to download and install SPAT.next and a basic tutorial of how to use SPAT.next. Let's go. So now we're at the computer and a quick note, make sure the device that you're trying to install SPAT to, to modify it, make sure its drivers are not installed because SPAT.next will make its own drivers on top of it and you don't want the default drivers to be on as well. It will cause some problems and instability. After you're done that, just go to Google or any of your search engine that you want to use and type for SPAD.next. The first option should be SPAD.next, the one right here. If you don't get it, then we'll put the link down in the description below. This is how SPAD.next will look like. And once it's all loaded, then we'll just click on the download button on the top right corner. And then download the most recent version. Mine is 9.11.5. And once it's finished downloading, then unzip the file. You should have this folder. Just open this folder. Then you have an exe. You double click the exe. Now this prompt will come up. Make sure you click on more info and then run anyway. And then click yes because we do want to install SPAT down next. And then your user account prompt will come up. So you'll just click yes on that. And then this is your license agreement. So we'll just click I accept the agreements and keep clicking next. And then click install. And then click finish after you're done. Now launch the application. It'll once again ask, you want to run this one? Yes, we'll click yes. And then this is your activation uh, code that you'll get from an email once you bought SPAD.next. So just put them all in from the email. And then after you're done, you should see this prompt saying that it's all successfully applied. Just click OK then. And now SPAD.next is loading. After it's done, this is how SPAD.next will look like. Now let's start understanding SPAD.next. So this is SPAD.next's homepage and you have all of these options on the left. The first option is profiles. This is where most of your profiles will be and this is where you can make them active, delete them, edit them. You can do a lot of stuff in this uh, part. Then you have panels. This is where we're actually gonna code multiple panels here and it'll show up um, over here your panel and you can see there's nothing set right here but we're gonna add an event later on in the video. This is where all of your other equipment are, so your throttle quadrant, your yoke, and so on, what all other stuff you have. This is where you put your add-ons in, if you have any extra add-ons from um, like any other developer. You have your settings over here with all of your license agreements, and you also have a support page. Just in case you have any questions, you can contact the developers. Now let's learn how to use Baton next. We'll first go into the panels page. And then this is your panel. So we'll just select the main first panel and then we'll click add an event. Now we're adding several events and you can see there's a lot of events here on SPAD.next. So the first two are position set and unset. Then it's left display, right display. 
active press short and long what uh stuff you want to set when you press a button and then scripted events if you have some like scripts you can put into spad and then you can turn the tuner you can change the tuner settings from here as well clockwise counterclockwise just like how it is in a real aircraft you have both of the options here for clockwise and counterclockwise inner and outer so there's a lot of settings you can do with over here for this tutorial i'll go to the bottom panel and click add an event then i'll just select left display and then all this will pop up by itself automatically and just for this tutorial i'll just select transponder one digit one and then i'll click ok and then ok again and ok one more time now you can see we have transponder one set so this is how it will show up now we'll just save the profile and you can see the profile up here is being saved and you can always change this profile for like suppose you have different aircrafts or anything you can come here and then you can click on create empty profile this will make a brand new profile a fresh uh, profile just for you and you can now see that our transponder isn't there anymore now you can always make something else for a totally different aircraft but now we'll just go back to our profile and now you can see it's back again so you're going back to your other aircraft now suppose you have an aircraft but it's not that different from your original aircraft you want to keep that similarity between them you just want to change a tiny thing we can always duplicate a profile in the profile tab so let's go back to the profiles section and then clicking uh, we'll click on new profile from this then we'll name it suppose for now profile copy and click ok and now you can see over here transponder is still there because it's a duplicate it duplicated the last profile so this can be very handy if you have multiple aircrafts. Now let's understand this right section. First one is active profile. Then you can delete the profile. And then when you click on it, you can click OK to delete it one more time. This will delete them. And then there you go. You can edit a profile. When you edit a profile, you can add a description to it. So like a description here, we can always say like, welcome to Simivision, subscribe. And then click save. And now you can see in the bottom here it says welcome to simulation subscribe and then you can click on aircraft assignment this is when you want to assign a specific profile to a specific aircraft it will show up here but right now because the sim is not connected nothing is showing up you also have device assignment it does the same thing but for the device instead of the simulator and then you can always publish a profile if you want to publish it to the internet you can do so here i'll just click cancel and now suppose you want to export your profiles you can click on open profile folder and then you can see all of the profiles are here they're in dot xml and you can always just transfer it to another computer if you want to i'll just close out of this you can see online profiles as well if you want to download online profiles from other people that they have given out and you also have your own published profiles that you can see in the app cal one nine or two turn right heading zero six zero and climb and maintain six thousand turn heading zero six zero climb and maintain six thousand cal one nine or two well thank you for watching this video we hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please put them down in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.